What's up guys? Today we're in Long Beach, California, about to take a sample of the new Big Mac combo. Nah, I'm just kidding. I actually had to drop some things off at Phil's house here in Long Beach. And since I'm in the area, we're gonna go take a closer look at the new Nate Richter bike shop that I believe is in this complex over here. So before I get hit by this car, I'm gonna jog on over and see what this is all about. Also, my lens is looking a little dirty, so I apologize I didn't clean it ahead of time. Anyways, we're here. I think I got the right place. I see a bike, so I know I got the right place. Hello, Doug. How's it going? How you doing? Chilling. Alfredo. Nice to meet you. Okay. I'm All right, well, they have some sort of mini ramp here. What do I think of this? It's pretty crazy. It's huge, man. It's crazy. I just imagine having to clean up the little OSS. I can't imagine cleaning this up. Dude, I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna make a little loft right here in the future, and then put a bed right here, put a sleep right here, and just, maybe put a shower. Just live here, yeah. Live here, yeah. Forever. So yeah, so I'm chilling. Nice. That's the future. Damn, who helped you build this? Uh, Boston Designs. Wow. Yeah, you guys your blessing? Yeah, yeah. Wasn't yeah. it? Neighborhood used to be down the street yeah, from yeah, here, right? Down, no, street. Same parking lot, right? No, Base. no, no, no. Bo uh, that was Bosch. But it was Shop across the street. Yeah. But you said so you'd be able to park here? Seven. It's oh, on seven. Oh, seven. Okay, okay. But no, yeah, Bosch will kill it. We build everything. We're not done yet. We have a lot, lot more shit to do. And we're hoping to open on the October 5th. October 5th? Yeah, October 5th. So. All right. Okay. Your signature right here. Trying to figure out how to get us out of here. Oh, hell no. Oh, oh. I got it, never mind. Dude, we're secure over here, bro. I see that. Don't be trying to break in over here. I gotta go get the gun soon. Oh, you wanna go on top of the roof? Sure. <laughs> up that way? <laughs> All right, I'll follow you. Well, he's already up. Um, halfway up. <laughs> uh, make you guys feel like you're really climbing out here. Dude, you're gonna get a million views for parkour right now. <laughs> parkour dudes? Parkour vlog. Let's get it. Parkour, parkour! Parkour, parkour! Parkour, parkour. Whoop. <laughs> I was like, let's find a quiet place. It's not quite quiet. I don't think your owner's gonna be hyped on this. I know. You better, you better tell him. <sighs> so, probably sit in a little corner somewhere we can just sit. All right. Here's what? Stress? Yeah. Oh, welcome to my world. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, here we are on top of the rooftop of Golden Days. Yeah. So why'd you call it Bike Co? Because I heard that already started ruffling feathers. Uh, just because like it's Golden Days Bicycle Company, so we're carrying bikes, so it's a bicycle company. Well, it's just Golden Days. That's what it's all branded under Golden Days. But to be like a LLC or whatever, there's already I'm assuming that there was Golden Days already. Yeah. So I just did Golden Days Bike Bicycle Company. Cool. Because it's like I want it to be in the future if everything goes well, just like a like a brand of, of bicycle companies, you know, like just whole, like shops around. Okay. And what gave you the inspiration or what made you want to start a bike company or a bike shop? Well, you gave me, like me working at OSS, like just going through what we did and all that stuff. Like I know how much work it is and I know it's like, it's like the return isn't that much, but it's not for, it's like the, not the return for me. It's about building BMX for the community and all that stuff. Right. And if we're able to support the scene and people that we fuck with, just how OSS is able to support the homies and go on trips and all that shit. That's all I want to like show the people that we fuck with like the world and be able to film and do shit that we love. Right on. Did you feel like it was gonna be easier since you already had that experience in the past of working with us or? No, like I like I saw how stressed you get with everything and like how on that level and you're like, you guys are a way higher level. So I already kind of knew what's gonna be with, like how stressful everything was gonna be. I should add that I'm, it's not that I'm stressed out or anything. It's just that OSS, when we first started the shop, it was already kind of like shit on because a lot of people hated on us like and our success. So everything we did, not only had to worry about our team and what people around us thought, but all the companies that were gonna support us or not support us. So that's why it was stressful for me. It's like everything we did had to be perfect or else we were gonna get destroyed. I feel like you have the advantage that you're a more likable person and you didn't ever go on one court. You were always kind of like friends with everyone. Adam and I have always been more polarizing and we kind of like, yeah. hey, we feel a certain way and you feel another way. Well, we're gonna keep going our way. Yeah. I think that's helped you on that end. And I mean, you know, obviously you called me and I gave you my blessing. Yeah, I, just, yeah. I think I just gave you a really big heads up like yeah. how hard it's gonna be. I recently got a phone call from Billy Perry and he wants to start a shop and I gave him Probably the same conversation I gave you, if not worse, because yeah. it's East Coast, even more expensive, I think. Yeah, you and Fu, like, I had to go, I had to ask you and Fu to be like, hey, is this, 
okay for me to do it or you guys be down for me to do it because you guys are like clearly the first ones to do it and you guys are my boys so i didn't want to be stepping on anybody's toes so i mean I, I appreciate it all you know on that end i think southern california is so big that it, i never looked at it like competition even with epic when i called foo and told them we we're gonna start oss in downtown la i was like we're so far i can always still give you business and support you in other ways i think the thing about business nowadays is that you have to be very diverse so you can't just think of yourself as a shop you have to think about it as an online mail order as a clothing brand you have to do all of the things because it's so hard to compete and i think by you being part of us for so long you kind of saw that already yeah so i definitely want to be an online store so we're definitely gonna be doing online and i, I want to do some clothes and stuff with that i just want to focus on just kind of selling bikes and getting that stuff just as of right now but i want to grow as a brand and just be able like i said to support people that need it and like that want to be a part of it you know how does it feel from going from like a dude that worked at a shop to a dude that's a sponsored pro to now being the guy calling the shots it's fucking it's kind of crazy because you gotta like spend so much money and it's like i don't really like telling people what to do or like any of that stuff so it's kind of because you kind of feel like it's, it's business and friendship right and what you know all about so it's kind of hard in that level, but it, I don't mind it. I like, I kind of always felt like I wanted to be in this position, I, you know? We used to always talk about it. I think initially you wanted more of the coffee shop idea, which I always told you like that would be a better bet. Yeah. But only because I know how difficult it is to compete in the BMX world and the bicycling world in general, because it's not as easy as people think. And there's not enough, there's not a lot of people are going to give you help. I think yeah. you already found that out. Yep. And that's like, I want to, the whole goal is to like, there's like, I have like a whole, a whole plan of what this is gonna be yeah i want to do be a coffee shop bike shop in the long run right because i think it'd be a really cool environment and all that stuff so what made you want to put in the ramp because that takes up like, a lot of your yeah, floor yeah. space i really wanted it as a it's the ramp is more for marketing and kind of like a so say it's a rainy day or like a pro rider comes or whoever rainy day in socal yeah just saying just like it's, it's more it's like a, it's you know it's, yeah. a, it's a marketing uh, a marketing thing for me right somebody i'm gonna have my logo all over it so people check it out on instagram and my logo's gonna be all over it you know that's all i i really ask for it's a little investment for marketing i think you also have a good advantage because a lot of the people that you're friends with that live in long beach there's a lot of riders in long beach but they all do cool things like i'm sure you got evan fisher involved yep. i know that aaron boston helped you build the ramp i saw uh trent what's it, uh, trevor trevor yeah. downstairs helping you build stuff so yeah. that's cool that you have people that i saw gorman and you know yes yeah, so, uh chief you know, those, yep yeah. so i try to get like i could i could hire people outside of bmx but i want to keep money in bmx and just have us grow in that that situation so I'm stoked that uh, all those dudes have been helping me out so much. Like, there's still so much to go, but I just coming I, together. I mean, yeah. again, you saw both stores, right? You saw yep. me did both, so you know yep. what was going into it. So, I'm sure there's a lot of things that you see now that you're like, oh, I saw them struggle with this. Dude, it's crazy because like, you think painting is so easy, but you have to work through a million other things to just get to the painting thing. Like, there's just so many more problems that you have to deal with that you don't even think about it. But like I said, like I kind of watched you do everything so like i have a, a pole vision of what it pretty much is like now i got to get my online store built and that's a whole nother fucking and story but see nowadays a lot easier than when we did it when we did it we had an e-commerce website now you can do shopify yeah 70 bucks a month they do everything for you okay. so you don't have to worry about much i'm sure i can help you with that too yeah. but uh i think one thing that probably the viewers at home that are probably wondering is that like is it that difficult to start a business and the hardest part is really just getting yourself like mentally prepared to do it and then you start learning along the way. For some people, it might take you a year. I know Nate's probably had this idea for a long time and just now, you know, pull the trigger on it. But you're last of a dying breed. Like people are doing entrepreneur, entrepreneurial ships and stuff like that. They're no longer taking the risk anymore because it's so competitive and the big places are so big. Like obviously going head, head to head with Foo from Epic would be very difficult because yeah. he has $150,000 worth of inventory and yeah. 10, 15 years of experience. So, yeah. but you also have the internet on your side. So we didn't have that as much when we were starting our businesses, you know? Yeah, and it's like, like I said, like I know BMX is giving me everything. Like, so I just want to give back to maybe us being here, a kid from around here could get a bike and it could change their lives too. And we could help build them, well, you know? Anything. And like we both know content that we put out someone will see maybe a year or five years from now and that one person will start a shop so you are keeping the dream alive you know yeah 
like I, I just hope to grow and like but as right now focus on just getting this fucking store up right again, now. What was the date? Uh, October 5th is a day that Oh, like, so you still have roughly three weeks. Yeah. That's still like yeah. but you know how <laughs> if you're working like I did, which was seven days a week, probably twenty hours a day between me and whoever was helping me, you can get it done. I just I just know what it's gonna take and those gray hairs are gonna come in a lot faster. <laughs> Yeah, dude, so you, you, it's already. I will say one thing too is like when you own something, then you have to start like really strategizing your money, your time, and even your meals. Like there was a point where I was like, well, if I eat the Big Mac combo, it's only seven sixty three. But if I just eat the burger and drink some water, it's five seventy eight. <laughs> That's two more books that I could put into the flooring. Cause you know, like at the end of the day, when you're buying a product and selling it for a small margin, if you mess anything up, then that margin goes away. Then you did all that for nothing. So you know. Yeah, it's. I really, really noticed that a lot. So, it's crazy. Hundred dollars could be a game changer on getting the store done and not getting the store done. So yeah. it's like it all adds up. And yeah, thank you all for, all for <laughs> thank you, dude. Because we're like, yeah, you're fucking a G for everything. I just have been through it. Like, and you know, like the same things that make you weak are same things that make you strong. So like, I didn't have a dad to like call up and be like, yo, how do you do this? Yeah. So that was never an option. So it was always like, I gotta Google this. I gotta learn how to do this. So now that my friends are asking me, you know, five, ten years later, it's like, okay, well, I've already done everything you could yeah. imagine in a week. Yeah. What you've done in like two weeks, I can help you out because mm -hmm. I've already just done that. And I'm just obviously insane, so I can do that. Yeah, you're most. you're you're a different breed too. I like I'm I feed off your energy, so it's cool. Like I just love seeing I just love seeing people hustle and just getting shit done and what they say done. It's just cool to me because I guys I didn't have anyone to look up to when I was younger, so it's cool to have like you and Adam and other people that are killing it to like look up to and get advice well, from. Well, they are the one percent. Whoever yeah. is doing something, everyone else is just waiting around. And that's the thing that sucks about the internet is that you breed the people that are gonna see your content first, and then they're gonna hate on you because they're just sitting at home and they're really mad at themselves, but they're gonna take it out on you and be like, oh. Why is it called Bike Co instead of Bike Shop? Yeah. Or why is he sponsoring these five people and not these other five people? But it's like, well, if you feel that way, why don't you start your own thing? And then check back with me a year later when yeah. it probably failed because it's very difficult, you know? Yeah. Just in order to even get this whole thing off the ground, I'm sure it was not cheap. And yeah, hell no, it's not. Yeah. And but that's crazy because it's like, I'm like a, I'm a kid from Albuquerque that couch surfed for fucking, I was homeless. I was homeless for fucking, place, oh, yeah, right? I was homeless for literally four years, so couch surfing and again it wouldn't be possible without OSS to come up to even be out here so I owe everything to on some shit to come up everybody that's ever helped me fucking stranger. Yeah, but you, you owe it to yourself because you're the person that went out and made it happen you filmed all the videos you put in the work so when things go well it's just a good relationship so like now that you're in a position where you can start your own thing and you want to have advice obviously i'm not going to charge you consulting but if yeah. you were somebody i didn't know i would want to help you but you know there'd be a fee attached to it yep. but now it's like well yeah i'll give you all my information mm -hmm. you know like even my plugs for stickers or whatever yeah. else you need you know? yeah i appreciate it man if you guys ever need any consulting alfredo <laughs> mancuso plug 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 but uh all right well shit. any last bit of I don't know you already said the thank yous if you I mean I'm sure there's a lot yeah. of people here helping you so you yeah, want to yeah. thank them I mean, too but. thank you thank you Long Beach thank you on some shit the come up Alfredo Mancuso I'm 22 Bostrom Designs Stranger Primo all the companies Poo and Epic all the companies that we end up doing company all the companies that we will end up carrying and that's another thing I don't want to be carrying brands that don't fuck with our scenes and don't oh. give a fuck about well, the good scene. good luck then, you know a lot of them. Well, that, that's the thing. If I see Stranger, or if I see, if I see Stolen Bico in here. Well, that's the thing, like, you know, I want to fuck with, so say that a brand hits me up and they have nothing to do with our scene, then I'm gonna, there has to like, not saying that this is like the mega thing that you have to be involved with, but if you want to be involved with our shop, you have to be involved with the scene and the people that we ride with. And even if our, if you're fucking with one of our dudes in Denver, Arizona, Albuquerque, that's cool, but it needs to be involved with the shop to, you just can't be like, oh, this is a seller shit. It doesn't, it's not gonna work like that with me. And I mean. I like that. We'll see in a year if you've been able to yeah, well, stay I, that, true. That, that, a year I, from now he's selling dog food. I'm like, what the hell happened? No, 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 that's cool. <laughs> hey, if the dog food wants to sponsor my dog and uh, my friend's All dog, right. they'll carry that. Well, you, heard, you heard it here first. Sponsor his dog, that might be your way in to get to the shop. All right, there we go. <laughs> All right, you wanna put it on the mini ramp for a little bit? Yeah, yeah. Let's if get you got a minute. Yeah, yeah. What size is it, five? Four. Four and a half? Yeah. Twelve, 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 twelve. Oh shit.
Home court advantage, huh? I I've only been in this thing for, I've only done like five runs. Really? <laughs> This is a no flare zone. You did it. So it's possible. <laughs> How close were you? You want to see? You like it? I like it. It's All right, man. Well, I gotta go, but gotta beat that close that door, son. Yeah, I gotta beat the traffic. Oh. <laughs> you don't even have the other <laughs> door up yet. I got Work in progress. I got cameras, bro. Work in progress. Well, man, I wish you the best. Thank you, Alfredo. What's well, uh, again opening date one more time for October everybody? October 5th, October 5th. If you guys aren't able to make it, I'm sure we're gonna have YouTube videos, all that stuff. Uh, we'll have YouTube videos, maybe a live stream, I don't know. That day comes October 5th, and then hopefully we'll have the online store as well, so you guys can order worldwide. Hopefully by October 5th, but not hopefully October 10th, so all that, so pull up. The ramp, again, the ramp isn't for random people to ride. It's uh, if I know you or whatever then maybe get a session but it's more like a it's a prop you know just tell him you know Alf I mean, yeah. he'll let you ride but uh, <laughs> support this man all right guys